Hey, Hank here. We're at Angel Street Farm getting ready to proof test a couple barrels we've been working on. These are 11 bore to go in a William Bales double barrel replica. So we'll be proof testing these with 190 grains of 2F powder, ounce and three quarter shot. That's no arbitrary load. That was uh, set up by the Birmingham Proof House as the definitive proof load for smooth bore barrels. And that's according to the rules of 1887. So we'll start with 190 grains of powder. Follow that with a fiber powder wad. Followed by an ounce and three quarter of buckshot. Top that off with a little chunk of tissue paper as the overshot wad. Now we'll prime it with good old fashioned 4F powder. Anybody that shoots flint knows all about 4F powder. We'll start by wrapping a piece of tape around the breech. Set these off electrically. And what we have is strips of nichrome wire, a little loop on the end of it. We'll set that in the tape. We'll secure that with a second piece of tape. Sure, we can get to the little wires there. All right, now we'll prime that with the powder. Make sure the powder is over the tip of the wire there. All right. All loaded up and ready to test. Okay, so we have, we have both barrels loaded. We'll take this one over and get it set up and see how it does. I'll make sure and get him clamped down good and tight. Otherwise, it will jump out of there and probably end up in the next county. Pretty hefty load. Gonna make a big boom. A lot of recoil. Okay. 
it's got that. And we'll hook up the wires. Good to go. Barrel number two, fire in the hole. All right, so prior to, to the proof test, we marked the barrels at three inch intervals starting at the uh, at the barrel bands recorded the di the outside diameters on both barrels that's what the red lines are for so now that they've been stressed with the proof test we'll measure at each location again and see if we have any change in the diameter if there's a change in the diameter the chances are it's a weak barrel and we won't use it so providing everything works out okay um, I mean, right now it looks like we have a decent set of barrels. They sounded good going off. I didn't hear any any ringing or hesitation whatsoever. It was a, a good solid detonation on both barrels. So we'll pull the breech plugs out, uh, check the breeches, make sure everything is good there, and we'll get a get a chart posted showing if there's any change in these diameters. All right. All right, thank you. I just got through checking all these outside diameters on here and none of them have changed. So it looks like we got a set of good solid barrels and we'll go ahead and get the get the hex flats milled in there and get them turned into a paired double. I'm excited. Thanks for watching. Bye.